Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Movement, episode 6. My name is, of course, The Moo. I have Gloob with me, a uh, long-time friend. I'm in a new setup because I'm currently moving around, moving down to Dublin. So uh, I'm at my friend's gaff because uh, my gaff doesn't have internet at the moment. What can you do? You know, happens. Uh, Gloob, how are you doing, man? What's the story? All good. Uh, pretty good. Um, just chilling at the moment, but... Uh... Glad to be here yeah good good that's good to hear tell me man well before we get into any league stuff what's what's college like for you man how's how's that going it's all online yeah yeah i actually just i've gone back to college this year so just yeah. starting first year again and uh it's just like it's it's so bad <laughs> uh i think i'm in four days a week all online it's probably gonna be like the whole year is gonna be online and i like it's just kind of gonna be cringe like, yeah departments and everything like it's just gonna be so bad and like they're like pushing freshers week pushing like clubs and socks and stuff which how is that even gonna work i don't know how that's gonna work so yeah but, yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know like i never went to a single freshers week when i was in college so no way am like, i gonna go we, online are, are like that just, sounds terrible <laughs> are we just are we just gonna be drinking cans like at home on, on webcam whatever whatever each other like it's gonna be like i don't know i have no idea man i have no idea that's uh not for me to decide Anyway, let's uh, let's get into some league talk as I move around the cameras a little bit. So tell me, Gloob, before... I mean, I... So the thing is, me and Gloob go way back, right? We, we've known each other since, like, first year of secondary school. So I can actually answer a lot of these questions for him, but uh, I'll, let, I'll let him speak, you know, I'll, I'll let him do the talking. So Gloob, tell me, what is what was life like before league? What was your first game that you played, actually? Or your first game that you remember, or whatever, you know? Probably the first game I remember was Pokemon Emerald, probably on the Advance. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was like a staple for everyone, I think. Um, actually, no, I think I had a Game Boy Color. I don't remember mm. it, though. I lost it, and I never got a new one. So I think I just moved to Pokemon then. Yeah. Um, but I think my very first like proper console I got was the GameCube. Played the played the crap out of bangers like... Uh, Sonic Adventures 2, Super Mario Sunshine, like, it, it, that was, like, the great... Bro, game. like, <laughs> like, people always say that Sonic Adventures 2 is a good game or whatever. I, I really don't think so, man. Like, I, I had it back in the day. Bro, replay any level that isn't a Sonic or a Shadow level and tell me you're having fun, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not even I, messing. When, I, when you're, like, I don't know, like, seven years old or whatever, and you're just, like, gliding down the street collecting coins, like, I don't know, I was, I was, like, that was... I don't know. <laughs> I was having fun. <laughs> man, I was when I was seven years old. I'd have fun with action, man. I'd have fun with anything like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your favorite? Before we move on to League, what's your favorite uh, Pokemon, man? That's that's always a good question. Ooh. Uh Well, I did have my name as a uh, pre pre Gloob as uh, X Zerua. True. So uh, that's True. a little hint to uh, Zerua. He was pretty cool. He was uh, what gen was that? Like that was Gen Five. Yeah. Edgy yeah. boy. Yeah, he was cool. He was cool. Um, he was also in the movie, which was pretty cool. Um, but sure. uh, yeah, I think yeah, probably go with probably go with Zero. I mean, the the original Gen One was obviously the best Gen ever because they didn't you know fuck around. But uh, I mean, yeah, I disagree with that man. They kind of did fuck around. I mean, what's Geo uh, man? But... That's just a rock. Like that's yeah, just okay. a rock. But you're, but you're saying like a pile of garbage in like six gen or whatever is way is more advanced. Like, like I'm not like, saying like the other gens are better. <laughs> I'm just saying like a rock pile of garbage. Is same thing, man. Yeah, true. But now they're just they're just reskinning everything, so it's 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 all the same. I mean, what can you do when you get like eight or nine generations deep? Uh, it's just true. Whatever. Uh, maybe they maybe they'll stop now. I don't know. <laughs> doubt it, man. I doubt it. So, uh, tell me about getting into league glubert what what got you into league and uh, uh what was that experience like i don't know like i think i got i i started maybe around end of season three i believe um with uh i think me and you started around the same time i yeah. think and then uh but no i had um i had a lot of friends in like secondary school that were like Played it like a bunch before. Like they must have played season two, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Uh, and like, I was a hardcore Call of Duty main, like normie boy, you know, for for like 
years and this like Same. cringe this cringe like MOBA PC game I didn't even have my PC at the time would just turn off mid like it would just, it, would, it would go on for 15 minutes and then just it would just shut off it would just it would Bro just... I, I remember that we'd always play Minecraft when we we're like 14 and we had to have you host the server and we'd always lose our fucking server because your PC would just randomly shut off man that was so rough And uh so this just this cringy like top down MOBA th- like thing, I was like, this is just not going to be fun whatsoever. But like everyone had to f- migrate it over to PC at this stage, and I was like, you know what? If I don't migrate, then I'm going to be stuck playing Call of Duty, which it was kind of going downhill at this stage. Yeah, and, um, say the least. So yeah, I think I yeah I started like at the end of season three, just playing normals and stuff. Mm. Uh, but yeah. I think uh, I played with like you. Me and you started at the same time, I believe. I think yeah. you played a little, little slightly before me, but yeah, that was, Did that I was start it. playing? I thought I played slightly after you, man. Oh, maybe you did. I don't know. I think you played more. Yeah. Than me. I got a little addicted to League, man. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think it was around the season three, and then season four was like my first actual like season. Season, season. Yeah. Yeah. So Glibber, tell me, tell me about early League. Tell me about your struggles of being in silver oh. and tell me about your waifu love jinx man uh so i i don't know like a hard like okay you know the struggles back in like when you just made a fresh account back in like season four didn't even have proper rune pages like it was like you just it, like you just have to like run the basic things you could like afford they Bro, just give so you rough, it was, like, it's so cringe and you have like one rune page unless you want to pay like 50 bucks to get the rest of them yeah it was that's, just that was so rough bad. I actually, I actually started off playing top lane. I played uh, Zinzao, Volibear, and Wukong top lane for my first promos. I got a, I got a quadra kill, and then my pentasol kill on on Zinzao. It was like really great. I was so mad, but uh, I mean, it was pretty cool. I was like really bad at the game, but I managed to like actually get a, like. I remember how bad Zinzao was back in like back yeah, then. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Top lane was a blast then. Uh, Wukong was. I don't know. He was like the most basic champion ever, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, and then I don't know exactly when I I swapped to to AD. I think it was like maybe season five then, or maybe it was like the end of season four, because like I got placed like sil- I remember actually. I remember I got placed in like silver four, and you got placed in like bronze one or something. I and did, you were like, yeah. was, you were so salty because you're like, how the hell did you get placed higher? <laughs> And, uh, it's cringe, I remember you, just, you went on like a streak. You just like were like, nope. And then you just played so much, and you got like, I think you got gold. Like, yeah, I got gold. I like gold too. I think for a season. Yeah, and um, I wasn't like too into ranked. I think at the at that time. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I moved. I don't know. It was like near the end of season four, season five. I think I re- like moved over to AD. And when I started playing the game, Jinx had just gotten released. So I guess like. I just like automatically went to like this new the newest AD is like probably the coolest one. I don't know. Yeah. I just thought that and like well Lucian was there as well. Didn't pick him up though because uh, everyone was like, oh he's too he's too difficult. Like you, you, you can't play him or something. Mm. Um, and uh, I don't know. Like Jinx is just she was like so simple that like you could just car- hard carry a game if you got like two kills. And I was like, yeah, well, I just, I'll, I'll I'll win every game just playing this champion. So the I the think, get excited like, music video was really good marketing for it as well. Oh, like exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, no. I remember I saw the music video. And I was like, "This champion is actually pretty cool." But like, think about the releases then. They were like so hype compared yeah. to like right now. Like they were so hype. Like, but maybe that's just because league was simpler and we were like new at the game. So yeah, everything was cool. Yeah, true. Sure. It's hard to say. Um, man. It's hard to say. But yeah, no Jinx. I played. I still play Jinx. Like every, like for like five seasons, six seasons after. Yeah. Like just... you still going strong in the Jinx. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's like times where like you know, off like I'll just won't play her when she's meta. But like, hmm. uh, I don't know. I think, I think, uh, I don't know, like most tournaments and stuff I played. I've always like gone to like ask to play Jinx over time. I can carry on this champion. Just you know, because yeah. like the champion's so simple. Like it just, it's like. You could play like Kogma or maybe um, Vayne or something, which was like a lot more difficult than Jinx, honestly. Yeah. Like, you, just, you can just carry a game so easily. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was like my. Uh, I got the platinum, I think, with just just maining Jinx. Yeah, you're Jinx main, season, In season five, I think, then. Yeah. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. All right, Gleb, so tell me about uh, entering, slithering your way into the Irish scene. 
tell me your tell me your story, man. Let, let us drop Over some there. facts on us. Uh, who had started? I think you maybe started. I, I started, yeah. I think you joined like a tournament after me because uh, I, I joined G seven. Yeah, I played G seven. Yeah, I joined G six. Yeah, I played G seven. I think like you were like playing, uh, and I think I remember actually watching. Uh, one of my friends like was friends with Pazters as well, and I remember watching like a couple of his streams, and I was like, "Oh, this this actually looks pretty fun." Then you played, and then I don't know. I was like, they were looking for Div one and Div two spots in G seven or Div three, maybe. Although I didn't have Div three then. No, it was just it was two Divs. Idea, man. And uh, I just said it to like the bunch of the boys, like, "Yo, you want to make a Div two team? Like, we'll probably just like beat everyone. They're all probably terrible." And, the Kershaw uh, and such. Yeah, so I played with uh, I played with Slinny, uh, me mm. and Slinny bot lane, um, Kaprom mid, the C prom mid, um, yeah. Dark Blah top lane, and, and oh wait, no, 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 that's a, that's incorrect. I didn't play AD for this. That was I played jungle for this for this tournament. Cause, Did uh, you? And Reed was AD, and then yeah, you guys yeah, started we, swapping we, around. Yeah, no, 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 we we I remember I wanted to play bot lane with like with uh Slinny because like me and him I've always played bot lane together and yeah. uh we couldn't find a jungler and we could only get an AD and I, we were just like oh we need a jungle and I, I don't know like they were just like oh uh glue can you just uh you just go jungle and I was like uh okay I don't know how to do this <laughs> but uh <laughs> but uh sure and uh I mean, honestly, Div Two was like that was like one of the funnest ones I've probably played. To be honest, that was yeah. just with the boys. That was just with the boys, and uh, we came like second or something. I don't know where we came in Div Two, the first one. Yeah, we fell to uh, our rivals at the time of OG with mm. uh, Dark Steleon and I don't know. The, I don't remember the rest of them, but uh, I think Damage for Days, yeah. maybe some. Yeah, Damage for Days, Dark Steleon. Taylor Swift. Know. That was. Those, those yeah, that was. Them. I mean. Yeah, they were the old, the old days. Um, yeah, the good old days, man. Yeah, but no, that was that was like banter, like that was. That was really good old fun. banter. Yeah. Yeah. You, you also had to what? set up like your own org, right? Like yeah, your own yeah, Acer yeah, org, and make you know yeah, whack yeah. it into Photoshop. Like, Tell me about like the process yeah. of that. Yeah, at the time, like there was like everyone popping up with like orgs and stuff, because like you know back in G one and stuff, there was uh, I mean, Frosty wasn't around, but there was the other. I can't remember the other. Cerberus. The other yeah Cerberus and then there was like Sentinel popped up Ferocity popped up all these like different like teams had popped up and like and I was like all right we need a we need a name like and uh I think I don't know who was in charge of one of the orgs was like I just make your own org it's fine just put you give your own brand make your own logos make all this sort of stuff yeah so I said uh it's a bit of work and um uh oh wait we I, I just thought, realized uh, we did... I... what were you gonna say sorry we didn't actually play with Slinny. We played with a boy called Emo Fish, which we had to uh, we had to do a bit of a. Uh, he he didn't settle too well into the team. We had to replace him. That was that was early with, on with old Slinny. Yeah, but uh, that was like one of the struggles actually with like making the org at the time because like yeah. I had to do all the like finally play the GMing and all that stuff. Yeah, I had, to, I had to do everything, which was like brand new to me at the time, mm. especially like I wasn't even that good at the game, but like I was the one in charge of everything because yeah. like no one else would have, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had to make my own org, which was called Acer Gaming. That stuck around for like a few seasons, for a few tournaments. I, uh, I think I remember like the story for like coming up with that name, wherever it's like me, you and Kaprom were on Discord and you're like, Moo, give me a name. And I was like, Bro, just look up like some Norse names, man. The, yeah, those are yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Go look them up. Just, like, kind of look scroll up, through. Look up, some, look up some like uh, foreign, like cool random words, and I was like, all right. And then I just went and like it was like a generator, and I just like was like reset, like generated like five times. Like that looks pretty cool. And then yeah. I just that that'll work. And then uh, it actually like it was actually pretty cool. And then um, I made a logo and stuff for it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was like a really cool process actually because yeah. um, at the time uh like just talking to everyone in the scene and getting like opinions on like how to run your org and like get, mm -hmm. get like your name out there and get players involved and stuff of that was actually really fun yeah um yeah do you think there's like a missed opportunity with like sort of people establishing orgs and establishing brands like just to begin in the irish scene for example and then like sort of expand out even if like, like right just now. just for popular no, i mean no i general, guess right now but general. just in general yeah yeah, no, I don't know, like, like it's for sure, because, like, 
it's not like that hard i mean it's it's pretty hard to like you need like really good like social skills and, and that sort of stuff you need to know kind of people and like get your way that way but um no i think it's like it's not that hard and it's like a missed opportunity for um just, it's just a little bit of hard work like i mean we've seen it like in in ireland at the moment with like feeling and stuff like he just like uh wings put like a lot of work in just like getting his brand out there and his name out there and like he's made success like through that it doesn't have to be like fully irish you know just a brand that you can associate with and just like push further into like yeah. sports and stuff like that like for sure it's it's a missed opportunity for a lot of people yeah yeah i, I mean i i would think the same i mean I, I also in general i think there's just like a lot of lacking of i mean obviously i'm gonna say this but i think there's a lot of lacking of just like youtube content in general for like i don't know first e i don't know like big teams you know yeah no like yeah, like, I don't know, even a lot of the even L L C uh, LEC, LCS team, like, I mean, the, the, the big the, the big ones, like, they do a lot of content stuff, but, like, yeah. a lot of the teams just don't really produce Smaller anything. Ones, like, don't, like, yeah. like, behind the scenes, stuff like that would just be interesting for, like, people. I mean, like, I always watch, like, uh, like the house tours, all, like, behind the scenes in the house, in the house gaming houses and stuff like all the time. Yeah. Like, they're, they're interesting, like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, a lot of the orgs just don't really put content out, and they don't really, I don't know. They, they don't put as much content like if they should just follow in the footsteps of like the, the major like franchised teams because they've like actually gotten to a position because they've the work they've done i, I kind of think that the content's like even more important when you're like not having success exactly, like domestically you, in your league yeah for sure because you need to get like your brand out there you need to get your name yeah. out there you need to be on like twitter you need to be on youtube you need to be on all the medias like you need to be just constantly yeah. just producing stuff and getting players like involved and getting like uh, even like Discord servers, every, anything like that, like just getting your brand, like a name. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, and like you don't even like, you can do it, like, obviously focusing on players, which is like a good thing, but you like, you can also sort of, how to say, like, go for like a target audience of certain people that would attract to your brand. Yeah. And, you know, maybe like you're an That's underdog up. team, you make content like, focused on underdog stuff i mean for example remember like for instance remember worlds um maybe two years ago what was the team there was like a wild card team that like popped off like group stages like, like, yeah like they like everyone loved them because they were like an underdog team that like performed so well like and yeah. like the likes of them like if they had like they were like appealing to like players that were like you know normies like they weren't like mm. too they weren't like weren't just all about like hardcore um esports and stuff like if they yeah. had like pushed their team into like a direction or like appealing to those type of people they, they could have like actually like went somewhere yeah well i mean it's a shame that like licorice or whatever his name was, was the face of that team and then he got banned for yeah, yeah i don't i, mean, I don't he, exactly rem do you do you know what happened i can't remember exactly he, i don't know like he's a pirate now i'm pretty sure like, I <laughs> what <laughs> well, well, as in he's sea of thieves or he's just actually going around like robbing people no, on the actually, high sea I, I don't know exactly, but I remember I was watching a Yamato Cannon video uh, and a, a photo of, of him just popped up and he's like, he started laughing. And he's like, yeah, he's a pirate now. And I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know if he means like, did he get like, did he get banned from stuff? Because like, I don't know, like he got like brought to court for being pirate. I don't know. I don't exactly know. I, I don't know, man. Maybe someone, maybe Google has the answer. Google definitely has the answer. But yeah. Um, yeah. We're not, uh, we're not gonna take some time to look that up. No, no, that's that's for chats. That's chat's problem, not mine. All right, Gloob. Well, I, I'm not sure if I have my timeline like totally correct here, but we'll talk about Erdogan, man. The best tournament, the oh. the Erdogan World Champions, so to speak. So tell me. Erdogan World Champions. Tell me about this. Is uh, this is also if remember we mentioned Padsters earlier? This is where the infamous clapping padsters really, the, yeah came the, up. the rivalry between me and Pads really, <laughs> really hit it hit his peak yeah uh, yeah so uh, uh do you want to just tell me your experience of like the Erdogan tournament well i wasn't even supposed to play for feeling at that's at this tournament i remember i was like subbed in maybe like a few days beforehand because yeah. i think it was it uh jack jack x yeah he couldn't make it or something and you're like Oh crap! We need a, we need an AD, and I was Glib, like, "You're in." I said, "Give me Glib, You're in." I was like, "All right, cool." Yeah, <laughs> <thanks>. <laughs> like, I was like, "I'm not better to do." Yeah. Uh, but it was the boys. It was uh, you, me, uh, C Palm, Slinny, and uh, good old Dragon Ship. Yeah, good old Dragon Ship. Um, I remember we showed up at 
crow park for the for the con and we're like we just like where do we even go like this it was just like in one room with like it was like the setups were so bad and we were just like this is just really cringe like <laughs> the quality was just so bad there was no streams there was just nothing i um, uh, i mean like i kind of remember thinking that at the time but in retrospect uh, no. To be honest, yeah, it was it was it was run by the the QCon guys, right? Yeah, yeah, I I think it was okay. Yeah. Like looking back on it, I yeah, think no, it was all right. It was I I don't know it was it was good, but it was banter like. Um, but I remember one of the teams had signed up, so there was there, there was, was ferocity us, uh, with uh, a load of like people that like, like randos. Yeah. I think there was some like the original Ferocity people, but like most of the main Ferocity people didn't go. I think and Goose it, was playing for them as well. There was also Team Untitled with uh, Padsters, Dark Steelion, and yeah. uh, I can't there was, remember who else. There was, there was a couple like main teams, and then a lot of like Randys. Mm, yeah. um, Randy from Mind uh, Zero. I actually don't even remember like playing that many games. Like, we played a couple, but yeah. um, I think there's like two or three in group stage, and then. We just, yeah, yeah. I think we played against a few but, silver teams as well. So yeah, we we just had like like we were. I remember we just like BM'd a little bit. Like we were like, oh, we should just end this game. And we're like, oh no, let's like have a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, but the the actual like only good game we we had was the finals against uh, Team Untitled, which was yeah. Podsters, Dark Steelion, and uh, I have some other honestly, people here. Honestly, maybe maybe like, someone in the chat will know. I don't. Yeah, and. Uh, the way Patsers really worked with like teams and stuff in the past, like he'd always bond like uh, support of mid laners, support of like junglers, you know that sort of stuff. Oh so, yeah, like, he had the four supports, tank. man. Yeah, yeah, he wanted him to like even Dark Steelion was on like a just a tank like support champion. Like he was like he, he basically just wanted to carry the game himself because he yeah. like I mean he like I mean two of them he was like D one like he He's was pretty like, good, really yeah. good player, but uh, like you were like. So like the games were like going so well, like you were, and you were just like you expected me and Slinny to just be an inting bot lane versus Pazzers, and you were just like, wow, we're actually just we're just gonna in win the game. Just yeah, you were smart. You were fucking <laughs> killing him in lane, man. And you, you were actually winning yeah, yeah. lane. That was wild. We, we played our we played our signature Barra Jinx from Solo Queue and just just popped off like yeah, two. Like, on him. Yeah, I think we lost one game, right? We and did. That's we the game like, though. That, like so. The thing was that we were going, like, between... Like, they were picking Ezreal and you were picking Jinx. And then one game, uh -huh. we got Ezreal. And, like, they picked something. We, I can't remember found, what else. Yeah, yeah. And then that was our we last. We found out that Ezreal... Yeah, we found out that Ezreal was the losing condition. Whoever picked Ezreal actually lost the game. So yeah. Yeah. True, true. But, uh... Do you think he played Lucian or something that game? And just, like, popped off and just... Yeah. Yeah. He was, like, solo won the game. Yeah, like, um... um I, I remember from, like, when we were playing against the meme teams or whatever, like, I, I was just talking to the casters during the game. I think I, it was Tyg yeah, yeah, yeah. and maybe it was Whimsy. I, I, can't, I, I know Tyg was there, but I can't remember exactly either, who else it was. I think it was, it was either, no, I think it was Rob. I think it was Ghost. Rob, Rob and Tyg, was it? Yeah, I think it was Rob and Tyg. Yeah, I was just talking remember, to them oh, during the game, like. I remember you, honestly, like, we were so mad at you, like, mid-game, you just alt f 4 because Silver got killed you. <laughs> And you just you all forward, and one of the like supportive people came over. Was like, "What's wrong?" And you're like, "Oh yeah, it just crashed." And you're like, yeah. <laughs> I did it out of instinct as well, man. Like, I just wasn't even like, I was just like, "Oh shit, I got killed by Silver Alt F4." <laughs> it was really good, man. We, we like, nearly got, we you... nearly got DQ'd, man. Yeah. That was wonderful. Oh, we were so mauling. We were like, "Are you acting like why did you do this?" And then you just you remember you just kept taking your headset off and just talking to the cast. <laughs> 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 I was such a troll, man. Oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. That was wonderful. Okay. No, but we we came first. One thing it was easy, easy money. Easy yeah. Money. True. Then uh, quickly banished ourselves from that area. Get away from all the weebs. Weebs out, etc. Oh yeah, it was like yeah, we didn't want to be hanging around with all the the cosplayers, all the weebs. So we just uh, maybe the cosplayers, but there. depending. Yeah. I think we we hung out a little bit, talked to the some of the Irish boys that were there, but that's yeah, yeah. We didn't really do much. Yeah. 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 Okay, so going on from good memories to a tournament, let's go on to to GamerCon, man. Were, were you playing Div Two in GamerCon or, or Div One? I, I can't really. I wasn't remember. even. Yeah, this is another tournament. Like, I wasn't actually supposed to. Like, I think I was like, I was mainly just like talking with you and like the feeling boys a lot, and I was just like, mm. I'm not really bother playing because like, um, I had like the impression that 
like I wanted to I didn't want to play in Div 2 mainly just because like if I played in Div 1 and even if I literally came last place at least I was playing against better like playing with better people yeah and that sort of stuff I'd be like improving I didn't want to play Div 2 it's completely pointless like you're not going to get anything even if you win like it's pointless you're not going to improve at all um so Galoob is improved like I wasn't even yeah I wasn't even going to play uh Gamer Con even though um I got asked last minute like again another like a week before or something can I fill in for this uh this i didn't even know a single player in the team and it was just like a friend's team and they're like yeah can you just jungle for us i was like yes and again i get to play jungle for another div 2 team wonderful Sick, and uh showed up you know how bad GamerCon was it like took like three hours four hours to even start playing and then we played two games got knocked out and i was like why don't i even bother playing <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like, wonderful, man. That's so team, good. The, the team was like, honestly, like the, it was so cringe. Like, uh, no one was talking. Like, no, I don't even think anyone knew each other prior to this. Like, it was just so really cringe. Like, it was, it was so bad. And uh, I tried to. I knew one guy in the team, and I was like, I played Zach Gregor, stuff like that. I just kept diving the top laner and giving my friend the kills, and he just couldn't carry the game. I was like, who, who all right, was that? Game over. It was Christian. Do you remember Christian? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Christian. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know what it, I don't. I can't remember what his in-game name was, but yeah. Uh, yeah. He's changed a million it, times, man. So. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that didn't work. And then I think actually Padsters was coaching the team that we played game one, so that that hurt because. Uh, yeah, the rivalry, you know, man. The rivalry, man. Going yeah, from a high hurt. point to a low point. But then, uh, then, uh. Yeah, GamerCon, I just hung out then with the with the feeling boys watching all of their games and stuff like that. But uh good time, that man. was that was a terrible that was a terrible tournament. That was so bad. It was honestly. not good, man. It was not good. Yeah. So I mean talking about this whole like division one, division two thing, what do you think what's your opinion on the whole like so uh, I, I guess I'll have to say this like every fucking episode, but uh, like my opinion mm-hmm. is Div Two should not have cash prize pools. I think it should only be Riot points, and like because it just incentivizes smurfing and shit. You know, like, yeah, I, I, it's fine yeah, exactly. to be there with your mates or whatever and have a tournament, have something to play for. But like, if you offer any no, exactly. sort of meaningful prize, it's just gonna start, people are gonna smurf. Like, yeah, uh, it's like it doesn't. In my opinion, in general, like I mean, uh, this is like a very like. It's 50 50 with everyone in Ireland, I guess. Like, but in my opinion, Div 2 just shouldn't be, exist. Like, it, it should have never existed. It just, like, it defeats, like, competitiveness, yeah. in my opinion, like, altogether. Like, it, like I understand that, like, the, the, the quality of players in Ireland is very drastic. Like, there's, like, good players, and then there's majority less good players. And it's, like, why they should, there's no incentive to want to play in general most of the time. Yeah. But Div 2 in general, like, it, like you're when there's cash prizes, you're just rewarding the good player smurfing and getting giving the money. Like there's no want to compete because you're just gonna get money from playing lower divisions, and uh, the bad players are never like they're not gonna get even the even like the teams the div two teams that are just gonna play for fun or whatever. They're just like why should they play that as well? Like they're just also losing out. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, like having the like open like we've had a couple like open division tournaments in the past which i mean they're great it, it's it's just a problem we have in ireland like the the, the the quality difference between players it's just it's it's too hard to manage yeah it's wild um, and it's also just the, the, the players in general there's no want to like compete at a higher level it, yeah. it's just, it, it, we don't have the type of players that we wouldn't want to make it an open division yeah, so, yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, no, no cash prizes for Div Two. It's it's so bad. In my you, you're just all out on the just no Div Two full stop, man. Like it's 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 just it's not a good. I mean, it's good for community games to buy that, but like having RP as prizes is is the best thing we could have for that. But yeah, uh, yeah, like for competitive like esports leagues, having one division is probably the best thing forward. Yeah. But in general, playing like right now, it's really hard to even run leagues. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my opinion, I guess. But uh, yeah. I mean, I know that's gonna be, I know that's gonna be uh, different for everyone. But so yeah. yeah, that might be a wild opinion, man. So we talk a little bit about the Gloob is improved meme, man. We might as well. Gloob uh, is improved. Is that how like 
<laughs> I started this meme, obviously. You, you, are, you are the creator, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm the creator of the Gloob is Improved meme. But was this, was this how just everybody knows who the Gloob is, just because of Gloob is Improved? I remember that was like uh, everyone on my friends list. Like maybe it was like 2018 of... or 2017. Everyone just had Gloob is Improved as their status on the league. On their... yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It was so. It was wild. It was like <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, it's, there's people I literally, like, I, I've met up with the boys, like, in town, and I just, I just meet new people, and they're like, oh, you're Gloob, and I'm like, I don't know who you are, like, <laughs> and they just still know me just from just random crap, like, I think it was just that meme, just, yeah, I don't know. It's a great meme, man, it's a great meme, Gloob, Gloob is improved. It wasn't even that good of a meme, in all, in all fairness, it wasn't that good of a meme, it was... Yeah, I don't know. I remember some of the people like Blaze and stuff were like, you know, they discredited the meme. They were like, why do we even have this meme? It's not a good meme. Uh, but uh, I don't know. He got his come up and so man, he's been banished to World of Warcraft. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so moving on. Tell me about Whimsy Cup, man. Whimsy Cup was a. Uh so to speak, the final revenge against Padsters. You find you showed him up once more. Tell me about your experience in the good old, the Whimsical Cup. Whim- whimsical Cup. That was, uh, maybe, uh, like, on the, like we won Erdogan and stuff, but uh, I'd say Whim- Whimsy's Cup was probably the, the bet, like, the best, like, uh, like, highest tier of, like, performance we did uh, mm. for Acer. Um... That was like a pretty like that was actually one of the best run like competitively run tournaments actually around because like there was like all the orgs in Ireland had like competed, yeah. um, they all had like pretty good rosters and stuff like that. But um, our roster for that tournament was Darkblah, Grubin, Dune, me and Slinny. Yeah, and um, Grubin was our import. He's actually from the Netherlands. Um, He's he D1 right there. now as well. Perma failing his yeah, master I, promo. Yeah, I don't know. He, 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 like, Grubin as a player, he always just, like, hopped between, like, he'd be, like, D4 one day, and then he'd be back up to D1, like, in, like, two days, and he'd be, like, he must have played, like, 40 games, like, <laughs> straight. Uh, but, yeah, no, we, I remember the, like, we were all, we all known each other except for Grubin. Mm. Um, and Dune had played, like, a lot previously and not re- like at the time recent and um yeah so i think we we th- in group stages we actually did really well and then um i think the we played against sentinel which was like one of the probably the hardest uh team we had in our bracket which was like hawkins Dra- dark Steleon, uh who else was honestly Pastors. i can't remember who was the- yeah, Paz, I think, was on the team. I don't know. There was It was a... It Maybe was like two a folds was his support. Uh, I can't remember yeah, off the top sure. of my head. Exactly. On, I can't remember exactly, but it was, like, probably the, the hardest team we probably played. And uh, we actually, like, we destroyed them in, like, a best of three. I think it was, like, so good. Uh, I, I remember you had a super smurf game on Sivir where you just... Yeah, no, them. I had, like... I went, like, 16 and 2 or something on a Sivir game. And, like, after the game, it was, like, what the... Like, that was insane. Like, just, like, just the game was just smurf, like... Yeah, Gloob was improved. Uh, Gloob was improved. That was like my peak, probably per- like, <laughs> performance in uh, in Irish Law. Then I just like went down, just went straight down after this. Uh, <laughs> Life is a wave, but, uh, man. We, you know, it's like we, it's up and down. We placed uh, we placed third in that tournament, uh, which was actually yeah. I mean, I'm I'm happy with that. You know, but we had teams like Ferocity. Yeah, I mean, the uh, other two teams uh, that placed above you were Frosty and Phelan, so... Frosty, and, like, obviously it was Frosty Dynasty at the time. Yeah. And uh, Phelan was just, like... Phelan had, like, good roster, Yeah. But just was, like, Not brand new, enough, so... Man. Yeah. Yeah, so, but no, it was Frosty Dynasty, which, I mean, we had no hope the hope of beating them. Like, they were just, like, you know, they were so good together. And then, yeah. obviously, Phelan were just better players than all of us. But, like, yeah. the finish there, we were so happy with that, like, as, in general, like... Yeah. So let's move on to E Stars Globe, the good old the good old E Stars. Tell me, is this a, is this going to be another one where we just talk about how f- fucking stupid they were to run this tournament, but also like, praise I, them because it was so much fun. It was, it was no, it was so much fun. Like it was possibly it was the, a most fun the Irish scene has totally ever had. Like it was yeah, just for sure. it was 
apart from the gaming, apart from the like the the the, the apart from doing stuff, what we were actually there to do, yeah, like bringing the, all the boys <laughs> together and hanging out, eating pizza and drinking Lucasade and just like traveling on a bus like all around the country, like that was just banter. Uh, but good times. the term itself, I don't even remember how like where I heard about this. It was just. It was just like all over social media. Like it, I don't know where it came yeah, from. It was, it was everywhere, like it, it came out of nowhere, and everyone was like, "What the hell is this?" And it was like everyone signed up immediately because they saw like twenty k, mm. and uh, they were like, "Okay." And it was like play for your county or whatever. So we were like, "This is just where did this even come from?" And no one even knew who who was running it. Like it was just out of nowhere. Yeah, um, I still don't know who really ran it. To be honest, I don't yeah, think we'll ever know. I mean, they're probably in bankruptcy right now. But, uh... I mean, they they ran ESRs too, but that didn't succeed. Uh, apart from that, though, uh, the we signed up, and it was like a design. I mean, you remember like signups and stuff at the time. It was so weird. Like people were like, uh, I think Aiden had like got involved with the process of like sorting teams and like because he knew the players at the time. Aiden the from most, Collegiate probably. Esports. Yeah, yeah from Collegiate, and um people were just like messaging them like oh can i go on to this team because i know these players and it was just like a mess like it was yeah. just it was just like it was it was crazy bro I, uh, I remember when i signed up they were like Aoife told me on the phone which is like the contact that everyone had that uh yeah. like i had like hawkins howell and like someone else on my team and i messaged Howell, you know peter obviously i played with him before i was like <laughs> yo heard we're on the same team he's like what i've never signed up for this <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it was, it was really crazy. good man <laughs> There was players that were just like not even there. It was like, uh, it was crazy. But I remember, so I signed up and I didn't expect to be on a good team or anything whatsoever because I knew all the band, all the all the stuff that was going on, like people like texting, oh, can I be on this team? I knew there was going to be some stacked teams because of mm. this. So I just signed up because I just, it sounded like a bit of, a bit of banter. Yeah. Uh, I ended up getting placed with the C Prom, which I like, he's like another old friend of ours for like since secondary school. Yeah, same, same time. Uh, yeah. So, so that was like really good. I like we had someone, but then, so we got put on the team, and we were t- we were still looking for a top laner and a support, and um, Dark Steelion then eventually got put on with us as well. So it was we we known at least us three know each other. We weren't like Carl's pretty good talent at the time. Yeah. I was you know. You know, not that great, but Dark was known. Was, he was, he was like at least like one of the best junglers at the time. We thought, anyways. Like, um, and then we got <laughs> museums got put top lane. I don't even. He literally signed up like last second. I think someone was like messaging him like, "Here, just sign up to this tournament." Like, it's a bit, it's a bit of, bit of, bit of banter. Yeah. So he signs up. He gets put with us, top lane, which he never played in his life. Um, and we got put Witzel, and Witzel at this time also was like gold or something. He yeah, was like he was Witzel was low elo at this point. Um, before he got like you know better. Before he improved. Yeah, before uh, he glooped. Before, so to speak. before um, <laughs> exactly <laughs> before yeah. I glooped improved all over him and then yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. But then I remember we like we got together in Discord and we we're like, okay, boys. We're not going to win this, right? And they were like, we're all just like, yeah, this is just crazy. This is cringe. Like, we had seen some of the other teams. Like, uh, we'd seen Sligo, which was just ridiculous. Like, we just saw that we saw that team. We saw even your, we saw Bray, which was your team. And we're like, that's even just stacked. Uh, we saw yeah. some of the teams. We're like, yeah, we have no chance whatsoever. And uh, we played a couple like flex games or something. Museums had. He was just inting. Is he was just inting top lane. He didn't know how to play top lane. He didn't know anything. And we had, we had come to the conclusion that he was an AD main, and he had played for like you know he played for Frosty and Feelin I think as well uh, for AD a little he bit. Played, he played support for Feelin. Yeah, he played for support, and then he played AD for another team. But uh, he was like D three or something, D two maybe or something. So we're like, all right, museums, just just go AD, and uh, you just you work for Whistle. I'll take top lane. Gloops Daddy busting out the scion, yeah. So then, like this was just cringe. This is another another tournament where I just picked up a brand new role because, you know, I had to. And uh, but honestly, it was banner command meta, so it wasn't too hard. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But 
you know, so our team, we didn't really think we had a, any chance and stuff. But I mean, we looked at some of the other, the bottom like half of the, we looked at, we, we ranked it, like, all the teams where we thought we'd place. And like, there was a lot of like four, like, there was at least four or five teams below us. We knew that we just like, they were just bad. Mm. Uh, like, so like Limerick, I think. And Derry. And yeah, there was a lot of like, not, not known people. Demons. Yeah, there was a lot of like, low, Unlikely. like, not even known people in the IR scene. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. East Stars was like a lot of banter. I mean, the games were good quality, in my opinion. They actually were good quality. Good, like the stream quality was good. Uh, I mean, even the, the casters weren't good, but the stream quality was good. Bro, um, I like Nikita, and I, I Whimsy is obviously a good caster, so no, I Nikita, like Nikita. No, 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 but Nikita wasn't there for the first like three three weeks. No, Whimsy wasn't there for the first three weeks. Oh, was it Nikita just by himself or something? Nikita was with uh, Blood Penguin. And obviously Nikita oh, was just was. getting like accustomed oh, yeah, to, to League of Legends, yeah, so it took him a while to get into the groove of it, you know. Yeah, and he didn't he didn't know any of us either as well. So yeah, yeah. Oh, he's uh, a good lad. I love Nikita. I still haven't followed on Twitter. Yeah, no, Nik- <laughs> Nikita's cool. Yeah, um, but like I I enjoyed the the competitiveness as well. Like yeah. everyone actually tried. Like this was a tournament where every team actually tried to like win because yeah. it was like such a good prize pool. Yeah. And yeah. Even on all the teams were like a mi- most teams were mixed match of like quality of players, so everyone actually did try their best to try and like win. Um, and I think what we've just fell fifth over you guys, yeah. uh, which was just honestly the game that we lost against you was just super cringe. Uh, we like it was just like me as a top laner, I couldn't do much, it wasn't really top lane meta, it was no, it's never really been top lane meta, but like it was it was AD meta. And museums and Winslow had just not performed adequately together, and uh, you had Kevin and uh, Kevin Man and Munch, yeah, and then Munch. Uh, like they are just like, that's a stack duo. Yeah, that's a beast duo. This was obviously I mean, before it, it, people knew that yeah, they were going to be this beasts. Is, yeah, but like this, but this was pre Kevin Man. Like now, this was like this was T five like, Kevin Man, not a yeah, this was, Master yeah, two hundred exactly. LP Kevin Man. I mean, Munch was always insane in my opinion, like yeah. regardless. Munch but like they just yeah. But uh, it was just bot lane meta, and our bot lane was just, you know, worse than yours. So we fell fifth, you came fourth. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, but in all fairness, like, ESARS was just a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Don't think anything like that will ever happen again. But Probably um, not. Probably not. But, I mean, uh, like, the like honestly, I would be surprised if there is, like, ever even an event of, like, 15 people plus ever again. Man. Yeah, no, because, like, I think I said to you, like, I was talking to you a little bit earlier on before. Yeah. Like, leagues are so hard to, I think, I haven't, like, looked too much into it, like, but leagues are so hard to, like, open and run right now because, like, Riot, based, like, they just don't want you to run anything on their stream days for, like, mm. uh, official events. Yeah. And, uh, you need, like, they, like, if you have, like, any like big following on an event they like hit you with like oh you need a license and like they license this cause like 20 grand or like some of them i think i've seen something like, where license cause like 50 grand and like no sure. organization no no like independent like run league is gonna pay that much money to yeah. try and especially in ireland especially in ireland we don't have the type of players to do that well i mean like so, the reason that i have the movement on thursdays usually except when you know when my internet dies or some other shenanigans happen is because like it's the only day where there's not an official league going on because like sunday exactly. monday tuesday and wednesday were like nlc and uklc and then obviously mm-hmm. like friday saturday sunday are all the major leagues so like thursday was just the day seemed best for me you know yeah like least competition uh, so to speak so i i don't think like esports in ireland right now is struggling yeah like, really struggling uh like ice i the, the collegiate tournaments uh is all we have really it's the only thing going and, on and 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 the requirement for that is you have to be a student yeah and, uh, and all the all the talent that we know that would play in in esports tournaments right now are all either not in college or have graduated already so well i mean like this that's, that's not that's not totally true i think rengus is still in college but i just don't think he wants to play anymore same with kevin man and munch like yeah so. but like the likes of like dano uh likes of um how maybe extra Voyner, like a devil devils like they're yeah. all like they're all graduated or like and then just people have not even are not even in college so like yeah collegiate esports is you know not a solution but it's like the best we have <laughs> unfortunately yeah it's yeah. uh it's unlucky man so tell me about your uh your multi-role talentness man tell me why why 
Like, you've actually uh, had, like, decent success. Like, you're not... There hasn't been a role that you've just, you know, outright entered on. I, mean, I think I, you've I'm actually done pretty well on all the roles that you've played. Mid's I mean, the only I, role I, you I, haven't I, played, right? Yeah, mid is the only... Yeah, so I, I played... I mean, I've said before, played jungle for a couple of tournaments. I played AD for a couple of tournaments. I actually... Like, it's kind of weird. Cause, you played support as well. Yeah, I played support for Felan. Oh, no. F yeah, for Felan, actually. I played support for her with Astarad for a tournament game. I subbed in. And it's actually, to be honest, that's so weird because, like, some players that actually know me, they're like, they actually think I'm a support player because of me just playing for, for Fila and support that one nice. time. It was like, no, I played actually, to be honest, I don't even know what to label myself as as a player. You're I've Phil, man. Lane. You're Phil. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Phil player. I played top lane, jungle, AD, support, and maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe for, for collegiate this year, I'll whip out mid lane and just see what happens, man. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Lucian mid's better right now, man. It's it's the time. It's the time. Yeah, true. And I suppose I could whip out Tristana as well. Just yeah, just true, true. I don't know. So or I could play Yasuo and just int. Who knows? Mm. We'll see. Oh, I'm getting season four flashbacks here, man. Mercy. <laughs> right. So tell me, what is, what is the future for the Glubert? The future. Um. Well, uh, I'll be playing Ice this year, and depending on like how that goes and stuff, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know who's gonna be, who's even in NCO. If you're in NCO, like, you know, message me. Uh, but um, I'm not sure exactly who's even uh, down for the esports team. I don't even know if I want to even, you know, push my time for for something that's not even worth it. But uh, I mean, I, I made it to. I, I'm like doing the whole captain thing because I wasn't really interested. Like the past two years, I was just sort of playing because. Uh they wanted someone in the tournaments that like mattered or whatever the summer tournaments but now i was just like yeah i'm gonna organize this i'm gonna organize streams because i'm just so bored man <laughs> never uh -huh. been able to leave yeah, my gaff know. even though i'm in someone else's gaff right now but <laughs> it's, 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 it's like it's like uh it's it, i don't know it's kind of cringe like because i can't even go to like the student union try and find players that i'm literally just like on discord like trying to figure out who's even in nci who's mm -hmm. like looking for you know it's like so it's all kind of cringe but uh i don't know like league is kind of stale for me right now like i don't know it's stale for a lot of people i think uh like st the league's not like dying i don't think um but like i don't know like releases like back when we started like releases with champions were just like bangers like braum being released nar getting released jinx all that that was like so good now they're just releasing like four champs reworks in like a month and it's just like there's just too much going on. Everything's broken. Nothing's even fun to play anymore. Like it's, yeah, it's um, I don't know. I'm not really having too much enjoyment with league anymore. So I've been playing like a lot of Valorant and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick up a new game and see how that goes. Maybe. But... I like I saw you stream like one day and then I don't think you ever streamed again. What's the story? Are you just pulling a me where you stream once a year? I mean, yeah, obviously I don't know, man. This, I get, this I, get I get a. I get a, I get like a motivation, like you know what, man, I'm just gonna just start streaming like four days a week, get like, get at fans, get all this, stuff, and then I just like I stream once, and I'm like, you know what, I'm done. That mm -hmm. was that was that was that was too much stress. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like I, I do want to probably like I don't know, cause like maybe, now that you were actually talking about this sort of stuff, you said like about orgs and stuff. Like maybe, maybe I'll like try and you'll make your own you know, org. Like maybe I'll hit up Acer again and try and get contacts and I try and get something going with that as well. I don't know exactly my time. I mean, I'm just starting at college. I want to see how that goes first. Yeah. And uh, I'm a computing student, so but it's all going to be online. So I can literally just be at my desktop in a lecture doing my own thing. I play. I could be playing the game of league right now in yeah. a lecture. Bro, so, I was playing Rune Terror during a lecture, man. Like I was just. Uh. Uh, but for future, I don't know, man. Um. Just chilling in college. Yeah. Maybe I'll start streaming again. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. All right. So, chat if you want to ask questions or not. It's up to you guys. We'll talk about worlds for a bit while we're uh, waiting for some questions. Ooh, worlds. Okay, Moo. Who's, well, who's your who's your least top? Two? Who's your finals? Who's my finals? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who, wait, how is how is EU gonna do? How's EU gonna do? I think G two can. I would be upset if they did not make semis, but I am my, not. My, I'm not really confident in them like winning or coming finals, man. Like, looking at, uh, I don't know. Like, looking at 
this year is a lot of talent. It's like, this year is like we're like actually look. This year is very competitive in my opinion. It's like so at least like the top two in like nearly every region except for NA are just so good. Like I don't know. I think EU. I don't know. EU still make a lot of mistakes in my opinion. Like when I watch streams and stuff, like they do. Like G two was inting it. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, they've been inting it. They like they came what like third. They 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 finished first seed because of uh, playoffs, but like they came like third or something. And uh, right this season, yeah, yeah. So like I don't know. Like I think that they're. Um, um, I think I don't think G two are gonna do too well. Um, I think like Group A is G two. Who is even Machi Esports? Do you know? Uh, they're know. like, they're not Vietnamese. They're Fuck man, I don't they're, know. I'll I'll look it up. They're PCS or something. I don't know what that is, but it's yeah. oh, that's Taiwan, right? Yeah, and there's sort yeah. of yeah. But like, I mean, we all know. So like, I'd say Liquid's probably gonna be in that group, in my opinion. Probably they're gonna, they're probably gonna graduate there. Uh, they're probably gonna qualify for that group, and mm. then it's gonna be G two or Sunning. I don't know who's probably. I think Sunning G two, and then, right like. Group B is so bad, in my opinion. Like Finn is going to just get destroyed. Yeah, like, it's he. He has. He's not up to standards with what. Like he's playing against like what two of the best top laners in the entire world. He's playing against Zoom and Nagiri. And Bro, Nagiri... how how do you get a group with JDG and Damwon Gaming in the same fucking group, man? Yeah. Like, um, oh. like I'm not gonna be like a Thorin part or whatever, but like. What the fuck are they doing? Like, yeah, how, okay. fix your group system, okay? That's not on. That's <laughs> God, man. Like Rogue or like, I don't, honestly like Rogue is. I don't know how. Like honestly, I, I like Rogue. Like Rogue have been performing so well. Yeah, Rogue's cool. But on an international level, they will get just demolished. Like they'll be eaten. Like Finn is gonna get like Naguri dominates people that are just worse than him. Like he just does. He just he's insane. Naguri's a beast. That's, yeah. Like, like. So like Group B, we already know like it's Damwon. Damwon's Damwon, insane. Yeah. Damwon's like they they're I think Damwon for sure is gonna finish first in that group because they finished like thirty four and fifth in in uh, Korea yeah. in this split, which like so that means they play so well at like just single games, best of ones. So yeah. that means they'll no problem in groups. Um, but Group C is the only one I'm really interested in to be honest. Yeah. Which, yeah, for sure. So like that's probably gonna be PSG, right? I don't know. I think it's gonna be PSG probably, even though in Group C. Really yeah, I think so. I think Group C has. You mean yeah. LGD? LGD is probably. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, sorry, LGD. Yeah, it's gonna be LGD. Yeah. 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 No, uh, I, I think honestly, I think LGD might top that group, man. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be Fnatic Gen G, and I think the reason really? why I say that is because Fnatic's gonna have time to prepare for LGD, where LGD is gonna have pro like playoffs, not gonna be able to prepare for any of the stuff. Like, I think Fnatic's gonna be able to to beat them, and then I mean, Gen G is just insane. I'm I'm not so confident in that, man. Like, uh, bro, I think LGD are way too good, man, to be in like that. Uh, to be in the play-ins thing, like honestly, China's just so stacked, man. They're I think LGD is going to top that group. I'm not confident in Fnatic, Genji, or TSM, man. Like, the, uh... no, I mean TSM. You can just get rid of TSM. They're, they're... Like Genji have a insane bot lane, but like after that, like I like Chovy. I Clid, Clid is so good. I mean, Clid was really good on SKT, right? But like he wasn't. He's been way more coin flip, I think. I, I mean, I've only watched it like a, a small amount of games, so I only have a small sample you, size for you, this. But... I mean. For... Fnatic have always performed at Worlds when they've had like time to prepare for the upcoming games, and I feel like I don't know they always perform so well under pressure. Um, I don't know. I just I, I maybe it's just like faith in you, and uh, I have um, I don't know. Like I just I like Reckless is probably one of my favorite players in the world, even though he's he's I mean he's he's really fucking good, but uh, I don't know. I just have faith in Fnatic. Mm. I think. I mean, I don't know. It's it's LGD or Gen Genji in my opinion, but Fnatic will, will make it out in my opinion. Okay. Um, and so for Group D, group like D. Mad has to be the last one. Obviously, tops. Yeah, has to be Mad. Has to be Mad. Flyquest are out. Like don't even. You yeah. think Mad uh, over DRX? No, not a chance. D no. Chovy is Chovy. That like I don't know. Like their team is just 
Beer exercise. Oh, sorry. I said Chovy for Gen G. I meant BDD. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. I, I think BDD is a little bit overrated. Uh, no, it's, I mean, top, top esports, you don't even literally need to talk yeah, about that. They're, they're, they're going yeah. to win. They're going to win the tournament. In my yeah. Opinion. They, their bot laner just stacked. Their mid laners just absolutely insane. insane. Yeah. I think it's DRX, top esports for Crypty. Matter, I don't know. Like, they kind of entered at the end of this, at the end of the season. Yeah. So, uh, and especially coming into like a lot of them coming straight into internationals after playoffs, they're not going to be able to perform well. Yeah, yeah. I think the Rx is going to be second place, and FlyQuest. Unfortunately, you shouldn't have qualified, but however. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Power of Evil is like one v nine machine, man. I mean, you could say that about TSM and Bajerixen is like one v nine machine. <laughs> Bajerixen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it doesn't count when it's TSM, man. Like it's just like, yeah, TSM made it. Whatever, you're gonna, you're not gonna get out of groups. Like that's just, yeah, it's sort I mean, of impressive that FlyQuest made it. I was watching, I was watching TSM's like reacting for their predictions for for the tournament, and like they know themselves, they're just not gonna perform well. Yeah, like Lyft was just like, yeah, like, <laughs> like they're like, oh yeah, we're we're gonna make it out of groups, like for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, like they did, they know they're 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 not up to quality with what the rest of the world's producing yeah double lift in in and biofrost is they're not they're not a good bot line in my opinion no. uh, right now no. but jerkson and speak are the only two that are are, are i mean broken is good but but jerkson's like solo carrying that team yeah uh, as usual as usual uh but yeah i don't know to win worlds top esports to win worlds for finals I mean, you would obviously like EU, right? But I think yeah. it's going to be something like... It's going to be like Danwon or JD and Top Esports, something like that, maybe? Yeah. Uh, uh, like, it obviously it depends on how Group B goes, right? But I, I'm, yeah. I'm taking Top Esports for winning, for sure. Yeah, no. For, like, they're, like every talent on their team at their respective role like is just insane. Mm. Yeah, for sure. How did they like? How did they? What was their record for the split? I don't even know. I haven't looked at the record, but like every time I've ever watched their games, they just dominate everything. Permis Marathon, yeah. Uh, man, like... I think Top Esports would have won Spring as well had they not have put Knight top lane in the final game. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> Maybe they were just I don't know having fun with. It. I don't know. What I don't they were know. Doing. They, like, yeah. what? Three six five, like I don't know why they put. Where did they put three six three six five? They, they swapped roles, like they put a uh, knight top playing Silas. Oh, I can't remember what three six nine was playing, but uh, they put him. Mid yeah. It's uh, just... Bro. I oh, know, but Jackie Love as well is just. Yeah, he's a beast. He's insane. Jackie Love, a best AD right now in the world. New Uzi, man. New Uzi. Um. Yeah, it's kind of sad though. Uh, probably one of my favorite players in the world, the shy. Obviously, didn't make it. Yeah. Um. Where did IG even place this year? I don't even remember. They lost to LGD. Yeah. But uh, the Shy, so good. He's like such an entertainment to watch. It's kind of yeah, like Showmaker. Is... Like, he's just he's just fun to watch. Like... Sh Shy's a beast, yeah. Bit of an yeah. intern, but he's a beast. Okay. So, uh, we only have one question in Twitch chat, so I will fire off one of my pre, pre-done questions, and then I'll ask you that one question in Twitch chat. Tell me. Where do you think the future of the Irish community is going to be? I mean, we touched on this a little, but maybe just, you know, expand your thoughts. The future, I don't know. We need, like, some multi-millionaire to come to Ireland and say, you know what? I want to invest, like, bank into the Irish players here and, like, you know, set up a some something. I don't I, I just, like, there's no one currently available in the in the irish scene that can like host a like a, a highest quality like i mean we have like raid we have ice we have but raid's like, not like a tournament organizer though yeah like a, they, they, a they, do, they yeah description. so they help out right they just they help out a lot with like with they're with like a production company stuff. no yeah uh yeah i think they help out they have like contacts or whatever with riot mm -hmm. right so they can help out with like behind the scenes stuff yeah. Um. I don't know. Like, it's kind of sad, right? That it's kind of like hard to think of like how we couldn't even achieve something here. Like, we have there's there's not much hope. Not really. Um, we need 
like we need a co- we need some sort of like organization or something to like really just put time and effort into like pushing something like for the players but like you're just going to get player like you're just going to get the same issues over and over again with like people not wanting to compete because they're just going to lose or whatever yeah you need like incentive you need incentive for people to try and play as well yeah, uh, yeah for sure because you're just going to get like stack teams like kevin mandano like bun like you're just going to get like stack teams and it's just not going to be fun for like let's say like to me even like i mean i would play just for the fun and to play with the boys and all that but for the likes of new people trying to especially trying to enter the scene they see these people that are absolute you like they're just so good at the game and they're just like oh, i don't even know why playing i'm yeah. not gonna win yeah compared to like compared to the old days like g series where like in all fairness like the quality was a lot lower right the players weren't as good as they yeah. are now so i don't know it's hard to it's hard to think of like a way for ireland to like progress in the future for esports yeah I don't know. Like maybe we could like maybe we could I don't know like work with England or something and like creating a league or I don't know like a, I mean technically like the UK LC is like like if you look at their icon it, it's whatever, opened, it, yeah, it has it's like open. an Irish and a Yeah, UK it's open Irish, so it, only one like, Irish player in it at a time, you know. <laughs> yeah, but like maybe you have like more like lower end tournaments like community kind of stuff where you can like for people to find talent, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Uh, and that sort of stuff like maybe more commu- like uk ireland tournaments or something yeah i mean uk are just better players but like it'd be, maybe it'd be better for better competitiveness because yeah. it'd be more more people to compete against yeah for sure instead of having like five teams and then you play one team the lowest quality team just gets knocked out straight away and then it's just like like maybe like, the future of like irish esports is just uk el man because like there's a good few irish players that are i mean obviously yeah. uh dano's team got into it and I would be very surprised if Kevin Mann doesn't get picked up by a team, but uh... for sure, yeah, he 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 he's performing like really well at like uh, what was uh, what's the the qualifier thing? I can't remember what it's called. Like just the UK Yell Open or what? Yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's been performing like really well at like everything, so like it'd be, it's really surprising if he doesn't get picked up. Yeah. Um, and Dano's team got picked up. Are he? Yeah, they they qualified, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're qualified, and uh, apparently Kevin Manon says in chat that he hasn't been offered <laughs> the <laughs> mask yeah. he just calls him a piss low. <laughs> 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 okay, on that note, poor fucking Kevin Mann. On that note, yeah. Gloob. Har- I think... huh? yeah. Oh, what were you going to say? Sorry? I was going to say he's like one of the hardest, uh, hardest before our committed players we have in Ireland right now, so it'd be a shame true. to not see it. True, true. So... Tell me, Gloob, final question from Moot, the man, the myth, the legend. He's returned from to the Twitch chat. How did you improve, man? What what was the improvement How like? did I improve? Yeah. Uh, I think I got flamed by Moo consistently every day I played with him. I got... Uh... True, yes. Goose will know uh, that I vibe mean... as well. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I remember you flamed Goose every day when you played with him. On... Also true. Uh... Yeah, and... Um... No, I don't know. Like playing, I, like as I said at the start of the stream, like play wanting to play Div One over Div Two and just wanting to improve, mm. uh, playing against higher quality people and stuff like like just having that mindset was, um, I suppose just. I mean, I'm not like even that good. I'm not even like I think I I reached D three last season, which then I just demoted. But like mm. that was my highest rank. <laughs> that was my highest rank, which I was like pretty happy with. But like, um. To, to improve, I don't know. I just like I think I just committed at the time. Just it, it, like. Like, I just committed at the time to want to um, to want to improve. But now there's no need. I don't. There's there's nothing to work for right now. I just don't really care too much about it that, that right now. There's not. There's no tournaments to like want to improve for. There's no um, like maybe ice comes around and like I have a decent team and maybe I have a chance. Maybe I'd actually put the commitment back in again and try and like learn the role. Yeah. But uh, I just I watch like a lot of streams on. Um, I think Sven was like really popular at the time when he was still playing for G2. And he was yeah. like super good at the time. When he used to stream qualities and super, so he like talked to chat a lot and stuff. Oh, I love Sven's stream. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I picked up a lot of tips and stuff from him. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I actually, for East Stars, I actually did get coached a little bit on top lane for like wave management and all that sort of stuff. So I did yeah. improve a lot, a lot more then as well about that sort of stuff. But I think I just commitment really at the time. That's why I did improve. Yeah. That's where the meme came from. Right. Same with like, 
Same with the likes of like Whistle and stuff. He got flamed like me to improve. He did. He 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 got coached a little bit and stuff. It's just commitment. He like really wanted to commit to. He committed a lot during these stairs. Flame to, uh... flame is improved is what you're saying. Costa Corda hey. is in his chair, sipping a glass of whiskey or you know whatever you do in Kilkenny and like yes I knew it all along. <laughs> flame uh, purport like directive flame at what you're doing wrong is 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 appropriate. Like oh yeah you're positioning fucking dog shit. Can you uh, can you stop doing can that? You not? Please? Can you not? <laughs> Instead of just being like oh you're you're piss low you're bad at the game like that's just it's not constructive criticism at all. Wow. <laughs> On uh, on that note, Gloob, we'll we'll end it here. Thanks everyone for uh, watching the stream, and I will see you all next week. Do you want to plug anything, Gloob? Do you have anything to plug? Uh, Twitch uh, is uh, Gloob Lol, and uh, same as Twitter. And uh, add me on League if you want uh, Gloob. <laughs> and if you're at NCI and you want to play esports this year, then uh, hit me up. All right, wonderful. That's everything. Follow Monster Rugby Gaming on Twitter, obviously. Follow this Twitch channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that is that is it. Let's uh, we'll speak again soon. We'll speak again soon. See you guys.